Hello, everyone. OK, welcome back to Kids Python Challenge. So let's continue to look into the problem of happiness of numbers. OK, so last time, yeah, let's uh, see the slide. Yeah, OK, we define the function to um, return, which returns whether a given number is happy or not. If it is happy, it returns true, otherwise false, right? And then using that, we checked the happy numbers up to 10, 100, and then 1,000. Okay, quickly check the result for 10,000 case. So let's open E4, continue, connect, and uh, let's see. So we better define the function again without print version. And then let's check the 100, up to 100 again. OK, how about 1,000? So happiness rate is slow, lower, up to 1,143 are happy. And happy, happy, happiness rate is 14.33. How about 10,000? Okay, 14.42. How about 100,000? Hmm, it's taking time, a little longer, but 14.38. Hmm, how about 1 million? Mm, it's taking time, longer than we thought. So maybe we'll come to this point of processing time. Okay, today's slide. Happy number three. Now today it's less than 40. Okay, we've come a long way. Okay, try to get results faster for larger numbers. The problem was the calculation took longer for one million case, okay? So first, um, try to uh, quantify the uh, measuring time. So uh, how to measure and point print processing time. So I'll tell you how to do that. The best way is um, import time package and then uh, let's see, just before here, um, let's see what is the best way. Uh, starting time, S time equals time dot time, call it. And then at the end, maybe just before printing out the result, print, um, Time, elapsed time was mm. a e time colon uh, time dot time minus s time. This will give us the processing time in seconds. So maybe we'd better make it um, F, F string, and then use curly bracket here. And I, tell, I told you last time, use column minus two F to print it. Okay, let's try 10,000 case. Something is wrong. I forgot to put single quote here. Okay, let's see it. So in case of is not callable, what the, ah, <laughs> I forgot to use, in the, I put the parenthesis in wrong position. Time, time, minus S time. Okay, so 
time time will uh, get the current time. So S time, time get current time is put to S time and current time is computed here. And the difference between two times are taken in units of second, okay. So for 100,000, it was 1.52 seconds. It's long enough. And for 1 million, let's ask it to do it. Okay, continue. In the meantime, we will do another work. So saving unhappy numbers in a list. So the idea how to do it in a in faster way is once we know some hap there are unhappy numbers, if that loop, calculation loop, comes to that unhappy number, it's already we know that it will never go to happy one. That means we know immediately that that first n zero is unhappy. Okay. Okay, good. So anyway, so using the conventional um, brute force method, it took 17.17 one seven seconds to compute up to one million. Okay, remember that. In the meantime, copy this definition and print different, a little faster version. Is happy say list? So in this case, um, Say we use happy, unhappy um, list as empty, and we use it. We know how to do that by. Um, let's see, we use global unhappy list. And then if say here, okay, for example, if here, if N1 is in unhappy list, then also return false. And before that, put um, that number in the new list. N1, okay? Do the same for here. Okay, in this case, put N2 in the unhappy list, sorry. Okay, let's see. This is the second list version of is happy. Let's see it. Let's compare the result by copying this. putting it here and additionally put unhappy list here and put is happy list instead of happy. Okay. 
Let's run it and compare the result. Hmm. We believe, because we can decide earlier, it should do a little better work. Hope it will be faster than the previous case, which was like 17 seconds. Actually, it's already 30 seconds. So it's not good at all. So it's not good at all. So let's see another idea. Use a set instead, instead of a list. So we use the list to keep unhappy numbers, but we can alternatively use a set, another Python data structure to um, keep this set. Okay, so it's still working. Hmm. Maybe in the meantime, let's make a box. Let's see, hmm. what can we do? Maybe I'll <laughs> I'll 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 stop it now. Oh, it's still working. Uh, it's still working, and I know what was wrong, so I'll stop it. Um, in this case, I don't need unhappy addition because it's already there. So let's see if n one in unhappy list return false. Otherwise. Hmm. Maybe everything in the scene list is unhappy. So maybe it's not a good one, good thing to add. Okay, so now we know it takes a lot of time. So Let's try set version, okay? Um, let's copy this one. Happy set list version, okay? And copy it down to a new box. Okay, paste it here. And instead of set, we use set, unhappy set, which is um, by defined by set zero, nothing, okay? And instead we use unhappy set and unhappy set if returns, okay. And then if otherwise, if this time, if we find that some number is unhappy, okay, we Add, okay, sorry. We add instead of append and two. Actually, um, it's better to add everything in the scene list to unhappy. So in that case, we can Right.
Okay, so uh, sorry, let's continue. The good news about set uh, is we can do intersection operation and only also union operation to set. So we can take union of um, set by scene like this. Okay, if it's if it's intersection, it should be ampersand instead of bar. Okay. So in this case, we can put everything in the scene list into unhappy set and continue this. Okay, so um, let's rename it to is happy set, set version, and define it and have the computation time for using is happy set instead of is happy list for one million case. Okay, let's run it. Oh, sorry, I forgot to, okay. Ah, scene is a list. Okay, so I need to uh, change it to set instead of a list, sorry, okay. So change it to set from list and then take the union with unhappy set onto itself. Okay, let's continue. Let's redefine it and do the calculation for one, one million. So one million case, it takes 8.7 seconds, which is about half compared to the conventional case, okay? So I think this is very good. This is fast. So please check this code. Okay, we don't need this anymore. And um, okay, so it's quite fast. Okay, so please work yourself to see the results. Okay, the homework. Compare processing time, we did it. So check and compare up to, we did it up to 1 million. So how about 5 million or 10 million or larger case? It's really fast for a larger case. So um, try to see the difference. Next time, we will try to visualize the comparison. Okay, uh, I hope you'll come back next time. Bye-bye.